If you're curious about how to convert PoE into USB Type-C power, then stick around. Hey everyone, it's Maria. Welcome back. In case you're new here and it's your first time watching with us, then welcome. My name is Maria and I'm one of the lovely ladies that works here at PoE Texas. Maybe you recognize my voice or my name from a phone call or email we've exchanged, but there is a good chance that you recognize my face from our Converge PoE livestream series on YouTube where I get to be the co-host. Either way, I'm so glad you're joining us today to see what's new in the world of power over ethernet. Now I know we love PoE, but if you love PoE just as much as we do, then you probably think of ways to turn any non-PoE device into a PoE device. And just like the intro and title states, today I'm going to show you how to convert PoE into USB Type-C power all using one inline adapter. So if you're at all curious as to how that's done, then keep on watching. This product here is the GAT USB-C Rev2 splitter. This unit is called a splitter because it has separate outputs for power and data. You can see here that there is a female USB-C port for output power and then a separate female RJ45 port for data out. This splitter is compatible with any 802.3AT PSE to convert PoE power into USB Type-C of 5, 9, 12, 15, or 20 volts with 25 watts. In the examples today, I will be using the AT4 48 volt 60 watt kit and 802.3AT compliant mid-span injector. If you want to add USB-C devices to your network, the GAT USB-C will provide the right amount of power while getting the benefits of PoE. Let's see how it works. We have a few different USB Type-C powered devices in front of us that this splitter will negotiate power to. Take this Google Wi-Fi for example. Powering this device requires five volts, nine watts. You will see that once the splitter is connected, the Google Wi-Fi will power up in a few seconds. In order to connect gigabit data speeds to this device, simply run a patch cable from the output data port on the GAT USB-C to the data input port on the Wi-Fi puck. And there you go. We are now powering up the Google Wi-Fi and providing wired gigabit data, all using power over ethernet. The second device we have here is a Nest Cam Indoor IQ. This camera needs 15 volts, 15 watts to operate. You will see that using the exact same splitter that previously powered up a 5 volt device will now negotiate to deliver 15 volts, 1 amp to this camera. This specific device uses Wi-Fi, so there is no need to run a patch cable for wired data. The last product we have is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Once the iPad is connected to the GAT USB-C, it's receiving power. Now you know how easy it is to convert PoE into USB Type-C power and how many devices it's compatible with. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a big thumbs up. See you next time. If you don't want to miss out on any content, then be sure to follow POE Texas on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. We even have a user group called POE Connect that's available to join. It's on Facebook and LinkedIn, where you can join with the industry experts and get your questions answered and stay up to date on all things POE.